Hello and welcome back to Dark Lair with Amnesia. It's been a while, but that's because I didn't really want to play any spooky games. And I was already playing two. Um, and then I just wanted to get full out and Life is Strange out. Uh, okay, so we've got some pair of fat legs. Oh, shit. And uh, my feet are now fucking wet. It's not great. Um, what am I doing? Just splashing the fucking water? <laughs> anyway, so we got some like centipede thing with like a baby face. Looks like you could put that on fucking Thomas the Tank Engine when he was shocked. Um, got obviously Skyrim fucking paintings. And I can't remember what the fuck we were doing last time, so let's just open any doors that aren't already. It's just enough a dream, he thought, and screamed at the top of his lungs. If it was, you're a fucked up person. Then again, I had like dreams about this old woman gassing me in Scooby Doo when I was like six. Like, I didn't even know about that you could gas people to death, but now, in my dreams, it happened. How the fuck, or why the fuck it happened, I do not know. Any it said something about fucking Okay. So our lantern is empty. Oh shit. Uh, I can't remember which one it is. I think it's in the diary. Is it diary? I don't know what it is. Memento? The darkness in storage feels strange and unnatural. That's it. I didn't notice it. But now they don't mention it. <laughs> um yeah, this is going to be a problem. So I can't see a size at all, really. Oh no, never mind. I do take that back. I beg your pardon. I'm going to go fucking mental, though. Please, let me go. I won't tell anyone, I swear. I just want to go home. I just want to go home and... No! Get away from me! Leave me alone! No, please! Light candle. Oh fuck off. I hate kids as it is without them being fucking creepy. I mean, technically I'm still a kid, but, you know, I mean like, fucking little, little kids. Your way is blocked by a wall of rubble. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> Um, uh, parties, parties, mechem. So we want to get to the parties mechem for obvious reasons. I mean, we're already tripping balls right now, so why not get pissed at the party too? The party, fucking out to the Aussie there. I bet you I'm gonna do the fucking Aussie accent now, because whenever I actually try to fucking do one, you know. It always fucks up, so I can't see for fucking shit, mate. Uh, this is really fucking offensive to any Aussies, I bet, because I don't sound like a fucking one at all. I next fact, I think this sounds more American than, <laughs> especially when I do the man, than anything else. Why can't I pick up these fucking cat oh, because it's like waxed to the fucking crate. Um, Ooh, what is this? A drill apart? Oh, lucky me. Um. Okay, into the black. A bitch black room. Okay. Oh, we got a hammer. Okay, okay. That's probably given everyone motion fucking sickness. Well done, me. Uh, thank you very much. Um, yes, I did just congratulate myself, but that's how I roll. Um, shit. So there's nothing there. Wait on me. Uh. 
will disappear, maybe they can. I don't know. I don't know. It's up here. Am I going fucking mental because I can't see? I don't know. Feels like there's fucking cockroaches in my brain, though. Is that all the jewel part now? Can't assemble the jewel yet and need to find all the pieces. Okay. So no, we have not found everything that uh, that we could. We have to look give another and uh and see. Yeah. Um Ooh. Hello. Oh you're hiding over there, aren't you? Oh. How very suave. Um. What the fuck was that first sound you made? I mean, I'm imagining you're a little girl, so you should not be making those sounds. <laughs> Ooh. What's this? Is this where my hammer was? Oh look, it's moving on its own. How spooky! <laughs> come on, it's not sword in the fucking store, and just come out of your fucking thing. Oh, here we go! Fucking bang! Whee! <laughs> Got it out. I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. <laughs> we got it out. Yay! Let's go and fucking whack this girl around the head with this. Hey, look! My little pony's in here. Come on, come on. Let's go look at my little pony. Yeah, fucking. Okay. This door has not been opened yet. Let us find out what is inside. Alexander, I have prepared the explosives you need for clearing the flood drain. I can't stress enough how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your feather-brained servants this before you go ahead with your plans. The liquids are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separated to avoid further mishaps. I have arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need to do is to mix the ingredients and you're ready to go. Something that I can't pronounce is my name. Fuck knows what it is though. Um, let's move these boxes. Is there anything behind here? Oh, oh no, no there's not. It would appear that um, this room's pretty fucking barren actually. Right, apart from these fucking bricks. Oh no, books, books. Collect it together. Um, let's just follow the left wall for now, see if that's going to unlock any knowledge. Why is that happening? What, why am I going dizzy again? Is it because of the light? Hmm. It appears so, wouldn't it? Oh, shut the fuck up. Shut up. You're a very annoying little girl, so shut up. I don't care if you can't find Mr. Fucking Snuggers. Like this, you. Oh, what the fuck is that? <gasps> no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everybody's safe here. Look, every everything's fine. You don't have to come in. Happy. Okay, it's just getting this light. I have a feeling I've. Yes. My sanity has gone through the fucking roof now. I, I, I have the hand drill, I just can't remember the way. Fucking easy go. Hello? Hello? Hello, don't mind me! I'm just a little school child! No, please! Please not me. No. You you wouldn't want to hurt me. 
No, no, please. Please, no. I take box with me. See, I do your ice cleaning. Yes? Oh shit, that's the wrong way. House cleaning? You like? You like house cleaning? Yes? Yes? Oh, do you want to house clean? Hmm? It's uh, like that. Very sad. Very sad. Is he in my way? No. Oh, thank you. Wait, there's another way around. Oh shit. Um. Would you stop that bloody cockroach sound? It's just annoying. Where am I meant to be joining? I mean, I can hear a young child, but... Hello. Is this my son's dick? No. Would be a not. My assembly doesn't seem to have changed. So... Rusted shut, so I can't get anything from it. It's not a bloody marvel. Oh, look, we can light up the room a bit. I wish we had some fucking lamp oil, that would be brilliant, but no. It appears we do not have that kind of ability. Oh, something went down in here. Are these bricks or are these? Books. They're bricks, okay. Just some of them look like burned books. I also don't know really where the creepy fucking went. Which is always good. Obviously. Where am I meant to be drilling? Tell me where to drill, you bloody bastard. I can't do my job if you're not going to show me where. Is this it? I have a feeling this not where I'm meant to go, to be honest. I'll have another check, but if there seems to be nowhere to go, I'll have to go back to my bloody depot, won't I? Because you didn't tell me where to bloody put my drill. I thought it was an arrow pointing in which way I should be navigated. But no, it's not. You tell me I can't go to this bloody party. This is bloody outrageous, I'll tell you. It looks like, though, if we go up the floor, there's a way up there. I don't know how to get to it, though. Oh, no, me! <laughs> is this why the gold is crying? Nobody turned up to our party because a bit of rebels in the way. I really do not like that sound. Kind of creeps me out my ears, if you know what I'm saying. Of course you do, because just because I'm doing this northern action doesn't usually mean that you can't understand what the hell I'm saying. Um, so. If we, the action's changed again. <laughs> um, what the hell am I meant to be drilling? It's just I never understand. No, not that. Oh, hello. What are you? Oh, you're some, you're some lovely oil, are you? Oh, I do say that's rather nice, isn't it? And if I lit up the whole bloody room, Jesus Christ. I don't know what I was doing before, but I've really bugged up my oil situation. Up the stairs and go on you, you laddie. Don't you worry. Don't worry about the thing. Good, just need to go upstairs. 
I don't know why this is so ugly. I'm in drugs now. In drugs, in a French accent. The thing called Miss brushed his face as he stepped outside. London weather could be cruel. The cruelty he could manage. But what? I was too busy doing um, Arnold impressions. Guest room? Hmm, I suppose I will, because I am a guest to this manor. He returned to the teacup to the saucer and picked up the orb as one would an apple and pondered on the strange happenings. My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? They gave my pocket! since I No, it's still there. So they gave it back to us. They were very kind, weren't they? 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Herbert, where are you fucking gone? Eh? Where you gone, laddie? You gone down pub for a pint? You cheeky bastard. Fuck off, Jay. I don't like you. I have to get out of here. Well, I am trying that, Daniel. <gasps> I remember! <laughs> you can break things! Ooh, yay! Yay! I'm happy. <laughs> Yay! Uh, I'm so happy to break things. I'm so happy to break things that aren't my microphone. Because my microphone did a fucking some sort of <gasps> Mr. Rabbit, Peter Rabbit, goes boom. What? Oh, is that a stuffed rabbit? Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> it looks like a sh no, it doesn't look like a sheep. Do any um, if there are any vegetarians slash vegans watching? I apologise for my mimicry of this cool act. As I as I apologise, throwing the rabbit. Let's put this back on the wall. Oh no. I see, it don't quite work anymore, does it? Um... Tinder? Okay, no. It's not like Thief, there's nothing in there. I've actually only played a tiny bit of Thief. <gasps> Here we go! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, <laughs> I've got to stop doing that. Not breaking stuff, how no. Just... No, you know, do that. <laughs> Somebody beats me to it. The bastards. I mean, ignore the blood. Look, they broke the bloody bottles. That's my job. See? Bottle. Gone. Oh, two and one. Oh, no. You thought you could survive, Mr. Bottle, didn't you? Bang! 3rd <laughs> of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colourful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, 
recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Just a jigsaw puzzle, mate. I think he got confused. It's that an orb jigsaw puzzle going around in your office at the moment. And uh, yeah, you thought that was like some mystical thing. It weren't. Half life. Oh. We're gonna get head crabs, we're gonna get uh, head crab zombies, we're gonna get those like lightning bolt people. Oh. <laughs> no, you will be crushed. Be crushed by a motherfucking chair. Ooh. No. Rad vultures could give my where I am away. I don't want that. Oh, hello. Didn't know you could open this. Nothing in there. I can't get in there. Nothing in there. Okay. You win this time, Mr. Oh, hang on. Let's try something. Okay, you can't be killed, Mr. Cockroach. Let me guess what I have to do. The lock is broken, find another way. Well, no. Just fucking do this. Look. Alright, grab bar. Grab bar, how do I... Use. There we go. Done. The key. Also, that's Indeed. probably why I've been in the drill. What was that? Diary, no. No. Okay. Really? Oh, thank God, there it is. Oh my! Oh. I guess it's the place to hide it then. First thing I bloody move, and it's the right thing to do. Uh, talk about bloody pro detective. We have an excuse to break some. Oh, and I bloody dropped it. I could have done much more with that, but nope. Fucking slippy hands. Down it goes. Machine room. No pajamas for me today, thank you. Um, get out. Get out of here. No. 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 4th of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Spooky. Maybe he just saw it before. I mean, he's seen it before. This game is called Amnesia. So it would explain the fact that he couldn't remember. Hello. I don't know who you are, or what you want, but get the bloody hell out. You have 
to be quiet. We have to be very quiet. You survive still, bloody hell, cockroach. So you were seeing room number four, and this is our bed. Look at that with ease. Hmm, tasty. Someone's got back problems or like tits on both sides if it's a woman. Or man tits maybe. Could be either actually. Definitely there. Really? Gonna leave me hanging? Oh shit, that was the dog's head. 